All right, seventh graders, well, we are continuing on here in this idea of surface area of pyramids. Surface area of pyramids. And so here we have pyramids, and basically pyramid has a base and then triangles coming up from it. Now today we are focusing on regular pyramids, which means that all the sides of the base are the same size. So here we have a it's assumed that this is a square, because if this is a, it's, since the directions are going to tell us it's a regular polygon, all sides are eight. This triangle, one side is 13, which means this side is 13, which means this side over here is 13. It's a regular triangle, all sides the same length, equilateral. So surface area, you'll remember what we talked about the other day, it's like you're wrapping a gift. And if you want to know how much wrapping paper you need, to put around it, that is surface area, if you wanted the exact amount of wrapping paper. So we're going to have to figure out the area of the square and then all the lateral faces, which in this case are all triangles in a pyramid. So for the area of a square, it's just like a rectangle, length times width, or in this case, 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64, so we'll make a note of that. Now, since this is a square, what we know about these triangles is that all four of them are the same size. There's one triangle coming up from each side, and so all four of them are the exact same size. I don't need to figure out four individual triangles. I can figure out the area of one triangle and then multiply that by four. Now remember the formula for area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. In this case, that's gonna be eight times 13, times 13, and divide that by 2. And I'm going to make it a little bit easier in the sense that I'm going to do the 8 divided by 2 first, which means that I'm just left with 13 times 4, because 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I'm going to do 13 times 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Put the 2 down, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5 and I get 52. An area, one of the triangles has an area of 52 square feet, but I have one, two, three, four triangles. So I have to take that 52 and multiply it by four. Four times two is eight, four times five is 20. I get 208. Now I need to combine that with the 64. So I'm gonna come over here 208. I'm going to combine that with the 64. 4 plus 8 is 12. Put the 2 down, carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 0 is 7. Nothing in 2 is 2. 272 square feet. All right? And so that would be the surface area of that square pyramid. So here I have a triangular pyramid. Now, once again, it's a regular uh It's a regular pyramid, which means these are all going to be 13. So 13, my height, okay, this is not a right angle here. So from top to bottom, it's 17. So it would be 13 times 17 for base times height, and then that divided by 2. So I'm going to come over here, 17 times 13. 3 times 7 is 21. Put the 1 down, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Drop the 0. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. Add those together. 1 and 0 is 1. 5 plus 7 is 12. Put the 2 down, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 221. But then I've got to divide that by 2. I've got to cut that in half. So I'm doing the division. 2 goes into 2 once. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Drop the 2. 2 goes into 2 once. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Drop the 1. 2 cannot go into 1, so that's a 0. Uh, I know that 0 times 2 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So I'm leaving it at the same place, but I've got to add a decimal 0. Now put that decimal straight up to bring down. Two can go into 10 five times. I know there's none left over because two times five is 10. 
So one of the triangles equals 110.5. So now I have to take that 110.5 though, because I have three triangles. This is a triangular pyramid. So now there's only three triangle lateral faces. So I'm gonna come up here, the 110.5 times three, three times five is 15, put the five down, carry the one, three times zero is zero, plus one is one, three times one is three, three times one is three. There's one digit that comes after the decimal in the problem, one digit that comes after the decimal in the answer, 331.5. That's the three faces plus the 221 triangular base. So I'm coming over here, 331.5, 221. I'm gonna go ahead and add those together. Five and nothing is five. Drop the decimal. One plus one is two. Three plus two is five. Three plus two is five. 552 and five tenths square inches. And that would be the surface area of that triangular pyramid. Now, last one. You're also going to get some composite solids, but they're going to tell you to find the surface area of this solid. It really has no name, but what we basically have is we have a rectangular prism down here, and then we have a triangular prism. But what we want to remember in the surface area is that this face right here, that would be the base of the pyramid, and would be the top face of the rectangular prism is not part of the surface area. That's just kind of there in the middle. So that's not really, doesn't really count. So when I talk about surface area, I, I'm gonna go with the bottom of the uh, rectangular prism here, six times six, that's gonna be 36. And then I do this face here, which is going to be 6 times 7, okay? And so this one is 6 times 7. That's 42, which means this one is also 42. 42 and 42 make a total of 84. So the right and the left at 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 7 is 42. That makes 84. But if I look at the front, that's also going to be 6 times 7 and six times seven. So that's gonna be another 42 and another 42, which again combine for a total of 84. This top one would be 36, but it's not part of our surface area. And it's also the base of the pyramid, but it's not part of the surface area. So for the pyramid, all I need is the triangular faces, the lateral faces. Uh, and since it's a square pyramid, I know that there are one, two, three, four triangular lateral faces. That's gonna be base times height divided by two, which looks like if this base is six, that base is six. The height is eight, six times eight is 48. I'm gonna divide that by two. Well, I know that 48 divided by two is 24, but I have four triangular faces that have an area of 24 square feet. So I'm gonna multiply that by four. Four times four is 16, put the six down, carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. I get 96 square feet total on the four triangular faces. So that's 96. Six plus four is 10, plus four is 14, plus six is 20. Put the zero down carry the two. Two plus three is five, plus eight is 13, plus eight is 21, plus nine is 30. I get 300 square feet as a surface area for that solid. So you just have to look and analyze the solid. You don't include faces that are just kind of in the middle that you wouldn't actually be putting wrapping paper around. It's that same idea if you were gift wrapping the paper. All right, that brings us to an end of 10.3. Thanks, seventh grade. Bye.